hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to teach you how to calculate uh, the heat load cooling load using the hourly analysis program and using the version 4.90 uh, so let uh, let us uh, take a start uh, these are the projects i'm already working on it so i will select a new one here I will select the ventilation standards. I'm using the 2010 62.1 standard, and same for the energy standard 2010. And these are the general data. You can select the SI metric or English. You can just put your email address here or data here, or press OK. First of all, you need the weather data. So you will select your uh, area like uh, i'm in pakistan so they just put the pakistan in middle east bahrain kuwait egypt here is pakistan and so here is only one city karachi uh, if you have different cities you have different countries you can put these data manually uh, just from uh, you can take this data from ashray weather data table and this is the uh, default data taken by the uh, just uh, the software from the ashray uh, here is the design temperature you can put it these manually in january your maximum temperature is this your minimum is this maximum minimum march to december and design solar so these parameters is all are already defined by the software so i will just press ok second thing is space you will define the space default space like office i am going to use i am going to calculate the uh, load of office my office area is floor areas is 10 by 10 is 100 square feet 9 is the uh, average ceiling height from floor to fall ceiling <coughs> my building is medium not that much heavy and light uh, second thing I will select the space out usage that is the outside area ventilation requirement these are already defined by the software uh, which is the uh, which are defined by the ashray you can also take it from ashray put it manually or you can select it from here so this is the office you will search for the office uh, this is the office space so select office space 5 CFM per person is the office CFM requirement Second thing is internal load. Uh, your overhead lighting type, it may be a recessed, unvented, vented, depends upon on your load. Second thing is its uh, watt, uh, wattage, uh, which is defined by the ASHRAE 90.1 lightning power allowance. So this is the office. For office, it's 0 0.90 watt per square feet. <coughs> zero point nine zero watt per square feet for task lightning for example you have computers and uh, sorry you have task lights and load is for example 200 watt depends upon you second thing is wattage of the electrical equipment like i i have computers whose uh, generated heat is 500 watt sorry 500 watt define these parameters and second thing is define the schedule create a new schedule hourly profile select profile 1 like these are the 24 hours in which you will use the air condition from 0 to 100 percent like my office is running from 9 to 5 pm so I will just put all this down like uh, from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 these are the 9 hours sorry these are the 24 hours so I will only start from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 here is the 9 so I will 
put all zero because my office will uh, run the AC from 9 to 5 only <coughs> and not these hours uh, uh, my AC will not be running in other hours so it will be running on only these hours so this is the profile 1 you can select profile 2 like there is a holiday and you are not using your system the system is totally off this is the profile 2 third one is assignment like from January to December uh, from Monday to Saturday you are using the uh, AC so select profile 1 if you are not using select profile 2 and if is Sunday your AC is not running and holiday so select profile 2 profile 2 there is no uh, AC mean the AC will be off so just press ok this is the sample schedule for uh, lights and use the same schedule for these lights using the same schedule for electric uh, load electrical equipment load because your system will running when your lights are on your computer you are working on computer so this thing will work on same time and second one is occupancy people how many people are working in your office for example these are 10 people and this is the office work so just put 10 and use the same schedule because the person will working from 9 to 5 and you can also define another schedule for people for example if there are no people in your office from 2 to 1 there is a break or 1 to 5 uh, sorry 1 to 2 there is a break so you just put the these hours from 0 to 10 or maybe adjust the load you can adjust the load according to it so this is uh, why that's why uh, they call them hourly analysis program this is the miscellaneous loads if you have miscellaneous load other than these you can put here and define the schedule third one is wall windows like my wall is one wall is facing north other wall is mm, south third wall is east and fourth wall is west it depends upon your coordinate system in which direction your wall is facing and this is the wall gross area like my wall is uh, my office is 10 by 10 and height is 9 so the wall area will be 10 by 9 which is 90 one wall area all walls are same so these all will be 90 square feet you can define also window if there is a window in your north wall or maybe there is a window in south wall one two three how many windows you can define these doors how many doors here and last thing is you will define the wall assembly from which material your wall is made up of like my wall is made up of uh, 8 inch common brick there is no air space uh, there is insulation of R14 board insulation third one is stucco which is a plaster 1 inch is the stucco one inch plaster and and there is a foot siding so my wall is made up of all these materials you will define you can define your uh, your own wall material here or you can put it manually its uh, r value its density section uh, just press ok this is the wall 1 wall assembly for wall 2 use the same for, for wall 3 for wall 4 these all are same walls if you have wall are different one is different material third second one is different material you can define these materials here in wall assembly second one is the window assembly you can define the window assembly its height width and you can define the outer glazing like uh, it may be a gray tint, um, bronze tint, clear. My one is clear, so I will select one by eight, and the size is five by four. 
um, just press ok this is the window assembly and last one is a uh, door assembly you can define all these if you are using the window 2 so you will define the window 2 shape 2 depends upon on your space this is the door assembly you can define the door gross area like my door is 6 by 7 uh, sorry 6 by 4 so it's 24 square feet and door ULU if it's made up of wood so it's already taken by the software and you can provide also the gross ULU here grow glass shade coefficient if, if there's a glass so you can define the glass area and put these uh, values if you if your wall uh, sorry if your door is made up of wood so you can just define these three parameters and third one is the roof skylight my roof is uh, horizontal so i will select h which is 100 square feet if your wall is if your roof is uh, uh, inclined toward north or east is inclined roof you can define these uh, parameters here so and you can you will define also the roof assembly my roof is made up of uh, 8 inch common break uh, 8 inch common break and there is no insulation 1 inch stucco and built up and also built up roofing so just press ok these are the materials of the roof so you'll define the R value if, uh, if material is not uh, present here you can just put the name and put its R value manually from ASHRAE and third one is the infiltration rate so for office just take 2 ACH it is already defined by the ASHRAE infiltration rate you can just take these values from ASHRAE tables last one is the floor and partition if your floor is partition there is a single story building there is no condition space above it so you will select the floor above is unconditioned and these values will be taken by the software automatically but you can define these temperatures if you are uh, if the temperature above your floor is high you can put the temperature manually but these temperatures are already taken by the software because these are already defined uh, according to your space that i have selected crotch uh, these other parameters slab floor on grade if you are above floor is slab floor up on grade or below grade you can define these last one is the partition if your wall is partition you will provide the wall partition area or ceiling partition area if there is no partition just press ok your space is defined 